We ready? Ready. It's time. Welcome back to another episode of The Art of Photography. I am Ted Forbes, and I have a guest for the first time ever in studio. Hello. You might remember Wade Griffith from the very famous The Photography Show. Yes. Do you say the twice? The famous The Photography Show? I would, just to make it more, should. more important. <laughs> the, the. And uh, we have an announcement today, actually. The Photography Show is coming back. I'm back. He's back. Wade's been in. The, he's been on hiatus. I've been homeless in for the, the last jungle. two years, <laughs> but I got my life back together. His life is back together. This is my buddy Wade Griffith. He is an excellent photographer. If you don't know him, Thank you. Uh, if you don't remember the photography show, it was a show that we did in the summer of 2010. I think it's been a while. Yeah, and we did how many episodes? Uh, 22, 23. Yeah, we something. knocked them out. We knocked them out. Well, they were, they were actually like recorded like 30. But every now and then I wouldn't get the audio or something. We messed up quite a yeah, few of them. We, we, we learned. Yeah. But, but we're back now and we're professional. Fla still flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> but we're ready to go. It's kind of weird just talking to a camera, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can edit this around. But I thought it would be fun today for the Art of Photography to have Wade on as a guest so we could make that announcement. So you can find it in iTunes if you go there now. You need to search for The Photography Show. And we have a website, but I think we need to move it to a proper URL. Okay. So that'll be to come. You'll let them know what that I'll is. I'll let you know. Sit tight. We'll let you know. But if you go to iTunes and search for The Photography Show, or I'll put a link on the Art of Photography website. You too. have uh, The Photography Show on your current website right I now. I do. I do. Where they can go and play the, the They can go audio. play the old audio mm -hmm. off there, yeah. So if you go to the... Well, and I'll put it on the homepage, too, so yeah. they, can, they can find it. But anyway, Wade is, is a real professional photographer. A real Whatever live. really is. <laughs> yeah. You started freelancing what? Well, it was in 2010, one. Right, I was a graphic designer for 10 years and I worked at a small agency and uh, photography was my hobby forever. Um, I finally got to the point where I didn't really want to do graphic design uh, for the rest of my life and I was enjoying photography more. Uh, there you go. Ted and I knew each other at this time. We we're having a lot of fun uh, shooting film and Holgas and, and stuff like that, whatever. And I finally got to the point where my wife started working and I could kind of try to jump ship and see if I could be a photographer full time. And, and it worked. And it worked. It works. And this is what we've talked about a lot in the past episodes and what we'll yeah, talk we about did. some more in the future. But It'd actually be kind of cool now that you've had a lot of grounding in that to be able to talk from some perspective of what worked and what didn't yeah, work. Yeah, it's been and, four you know. years now for me, and every year has been uh, progressively better than the last. So, so far. Um, and, and there's been <laughs> ups and downs and all kinds of sure, valleys yeah. and mountains in, in there. It hasn't all been great. But um, I think if you love something, you're passionate about it, and you stick with it, you can be successful at it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do, I thought it would be cool because Wade came up here today. We were going to film the intro to the show and all. We decided to do this podcast kind of spontaneously because he brought his book up. I think you should get your book. Yeah, my print portfolio. You want to like hold it up? You want to just do it right now to show Let's it to just do it right now. This, okay. is, this is incredibly professional at this point. In the meantime, I'll put some graphics behind us. Okay. This. Yeah, I just went you through know. the process of... Um, getting an entire new print Hold portfolio so, yeah, I'm not really uh, sure. um, produced for myself, which is something I've never done before because one, it's very time consuming and two, it's very expensive. So, um, all right, now let's clarify too. This is not the kind of portfolio you did on blurb. I, in the or, past, I've always not had print on demand. Yeah. Right. I've always in, in in the past, I've always done blurb books for my portfo for my print Apple, portfolio you know. or Apple or something like that. But um, I just got hooked up with Wonderful Machine, which is sort of like my rep this year. Um, Very cool. And they they go around and show professional books, and everybody's books look like this, this good. And um, so I needed to be at that level. So they're I, selling you. They're getting you work. Right. And now. it's something that I can take around as a New Year's resolution at the first of the year and throughout the year to go yeah. in and meet people and talk face-to-face -face and get new business rather than sending them a web link or something online that they quickly look at and, and forget about you or whatever. So It's a personal uh, touch. Yeah. So, well, let's, let's move the camera case? and we'll, we'll, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll pull it out and check yeah. out the whole thing. Okay. All right. That so sounds good. This is the book. Here it is. That's my name. <laughs> On the so um, when you, when you're first starting to get a book put together, you have to uh, you have to first get someone to help you. Usually, pick out the photos that you want in your book, I, that, or pick them out yourself. Yeah, and in fact, we've done we talked about that on the art of photography before. Is like, yeah, if you're going to be your own judge, it's good to get a second pair of eyes in there and get somebody you trust their opinion to, right. to help with it. So most artists can do things for other people really well, but yes. when it comes to doing things for themselves, whether it's a logo <laughs> or picking out the, the best of your own photos or whatever, it's it's usually not the, no. the best thing you can do. It, it's it's better to go with somebody else and have them put in their two cents. Absolutely. And so I went with the professional on this. My rep, a wonderful machine, a guy there helped me. 
uh, do all that and did a wonderful job. Cool. But the box here itself is made by um, someone called Scott Mullenberg, and this is what he does for a living. He makes professional portfolios. He sends you swatches uh, based on, I told him I wanted grays because my website is, is, is made up of gray colors. And, um, so it's totally customized. So he sent me a ton of swatches. I got to pick from those, send them back to him, and then he got and to work on I don't know if you can there. tell from the video from the texture. This is like fabric. Yeah, it's like fabric. It's so awesome, yeah. I'm not going to get fingerprints or anything like that on it. I told him I wanted something, of course, um, that wasn't going to get a lot of wear and tear or show a lot of right. stuff right away or, or for years even. I mean, because you're going to have this for a long time. Yeah. These type of portfolios, um, unlike blurb books and things as well, um, are interchangeable. So I can order ah. more prints later on. Put and take out old ones and put them in here. And, yeah. and right, you're not stuck with um, with not being able to change that. It comes with this vellum, which is really oh, nice to, to nice. open up the book. I do a lot of interiors and architectural work, so we wanted to focus on one thing that I could show, um, you know, as my specialty, and that's what this is. Absolutely. And um, later on, they they send you dividers, so if you want to divide it up into sections and have uh, show your portraits or food or, or landscapes or anything else, you can do that. It's really um, cool. Yeah, it's hard to tell, like, I'm sure on this video, because we just threw up a camera to show it, because you actually brought it up, and I thought mm -hmm. this would be cool. But yeah, I'll put your link in the show notes to your website, so if you guys want to go see these images, like, you know, yeah, you, they can, and they can clean, see them yeah, there, yeah. You can check them out. Now, Jared... We're showing you the book. So. Right. Uh, Jared at Wonderful Machine helped me to, to... He picked out all the photos that he thought were my best photos that I should show, mm -hmm. and then he helped me lay them out in a way that they cool. that would be you know a nice looking uh, well it's nice too because if he's going to sell your services as a photographer i mean he knows what the clients are going to be looking for and exactly so yes yeah, so it's really important to get somebody even if you think you know what you're doing right to, uh, to help so so you know here we have two religious images that go well together yeah pairings. here we have yeah very um modern two modern interiors and exteriors with the cool. leading lines of the trees and of these columns here that's slick, dude. Both very modern images here. One's a nightclub and one is a corporate <laughs> lobby, but you have nice red chairs, very modern. You have the red accents in here, very modern. It's very cool. So these are the things that he's able to do that I might not be able to do as well. This is the Fox Theater um, in Atlanta. Yeah, the other cool thing that they're definitely not going to pick up on the video, but you were showing me earlier, is the paper is extremely high quality. It's like book paper. It's like not, not going to smudge, not going to wrinkle, not right. going to tear very easily. It's very robust and it really picks up those images really nice. Yeah, it has a great feel to it. And that's just something that you can't get with an iPad or a no. computer screen. And, um, you know, it's funny, everybody used to show their books this way. And so when iPads and, and, and computers came into play, that was the cool way to show it and everybody was loving that. But now that's becoming so routine that it's going back to exactly. having a great book with a great texture that people can touch and feel um, is it, something that's kind of special. Yeah, so being able to stand out, you know, if you can do all the all of the above over time, have the <laughs> iPad set, portfolio right? and have the print portfolio and the online portfolio. But there's a lot of people that just will even say to me, wait, I don't even want to see your online portfolio. How else can you show it to me? Yeah, that's so cool. I mean, that's cool. There's that. So we'll put links to all this in the show notes, too, about, you know, resources on where to get this done if you so choose. I mean, this is right. this is not cheap. It, it should be stated too. I mean, this is not like a you don't need to say what it costs, but it's no. not it's not blurb prices of 50 bucks a book. I mean, you're going to invest in something like this. And like I said, I, I'm 4 years into my career and I'm just now doing this for the first sure. time. So I got by for a long time um, gaining momentum in my business and getting yeah, you don't have to start having with blurb this. books and 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 showing stuff on the iPad and showing stuff on on laptops and computers and things like that. But I finally got to a point where wonderful machine, my rep could could show my book around for me, and I nice. could also start thinking what I want to do in the new year to make myself even better. And this year, it's going to be uh, kind of new branding for myself as far as a logo, as a mark, and and having a really professional book that I can show around. And already, it's paid off. I, I have uh, four appointments just this month, and I just started the new year. That's cool. Uh, to be able to That's go around awesome. and show my book off. Yep. And, and meet people face to face, which I think is is way more important. Than yeah. So no email, no meeting through people through emails. Yeah, easier than a phone call too. Yeah. I hate cold calling and. Yeah, know. exactly. This is just, just <laughs> yeah. this is just a lot more personal, and, and then now you'll have a personal relationship with them. So about how many images did you put in the book? Um, did, did they th make any this, recommendations? Yeah, on they, that they said let's just do about forty. Let's okay. do about forty images and keep it nice and simple. We don't want to go too long. Uh, you know, we don't want people to be bored and shut their book. Shut the yeah, book you won't have too much, but over. you also don't have too little, I guess. Right, yeah. Know? So I think that's a good number. Um, some people even have less than that. They only have 20 images in their book. Some people may have, you know, double that if they're showing a lot of different categories. 
Very um, cool. I yeah. love it. But I'm excited about it, and I think this is going to bring a lot of new relationships and a lot of new business in the new year. And I think that's just what you have to shoot for um, yeah, as absolutely. a photographer every year is up in, up in the ante. Yep. And so this was a good year for me to do this. Up to ante. Up to ante. I like it. Yeah. All right, cool, folks. We will. Uh, that's it for now. So watch the photography show. They can't actually see us now, which is kind of no. trippy. But we can, we can sign it. Uh, watch the photography show. It's coming back. We're, we have all the old episodes up on the iTunes, or by the time they're seeing this, it will be. So uh, check them out there, or go to theartofphotography.tv. You can check them out there. WadeGriffithPhotography.com to check out Wade's work, and we'll put links to book resources in the show notes. So we'll catch you guys next time. See you later.